Hi guys, I'm Alia Bhatt. Uh, download the Bollywood Times app now. I've known her for four years professionally. Uh, I wish I could have known her personally as well, but there's still time for that. Uh, you know, I've always loved her every year. Every year, the reason because she's always upped her game in movies, performances, yet uh, caring, candid, crazy, and sometimes a bit complicated. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I have Alia Bhatt. Welcome to Bollywood Times. Thank you. Is that the right in, uh, introduction? Very apt, I must say. Crazy, sometimes a bit complicated, candid, very nice. Right? Yeah. So tell me, Alia, did you pinch yourself when you actually found out Shah Rukh Khan is in this film? I had to. I had to a couple of times. Uh, I think I'm still pinching myself some days when I feel like, okay, my film is out in a week um, and it's going to be with Shah Rukh Khan and, you know, it's about this and it's about that. Right. And, of course, it's a very big deal. Uh, I mean, uh, I've always admired him. I've always loved him. And um, honestly, I love him even more after working with him. Not because he was so nice to me. Obviously, that's a part. But because I've understood so much about him that I did not know by just knowing the star that he is. And that side of him is really, really, I would say, adorable. Your sisters worked with Shah Rukh. Your fathers worked with Shah Rukh. What was that piece of, uh, you know, Advice? advice or probably some inputs that they both have given you while working with this man. You know, one would imagine that we keep giving each other advice just right. because, you know, we've done something. We right. don't do that. Okay. Uh, especially in my family, we don't give each other advice only. Except for when we're really just having a candid conversation and then, you know, we're talking about life and then it happens to come. Uh -huh. um, my father is especially one of those people who doesn't really want to impose his thoughts on me. However... Having said that, uh, whenever we have a conversation, there'll be some 30 one-liners that'll come my way. Uh -huh. uh, but honestly, he's always spoken to me about Shah Rukh very, very fondly. He's always like found him, he's very, very, very close to him. And uh, same with Shah Rukh. If the, he says that if there's one person's call he won't avoid, it'll be my father because he loves talking to him. You know, every time on social media, Alia, you... You just see the timeline and there are these morning quotes that are given, right? The inspirational yeah. quotes. Yeah. Tell me a quote that you really believe in. Um, by Frank Sinatra, he has given me a, a, a quote. And he, actually, it was a picture which he blew up it then eventually for me. And I have it behind my bed right now. It says, um, the best revenge is massive success. Wow. Yeah. And yes to success, yeah. Yes to success. I mean, look how, how brilliantly you've mixed in four years, Alia. Yeah. That was after, so basically after Shandar did not do well. Uh, of course, I was not happy about it. And the only person who I was actually really talking to a lot and conversing with about how, the way right. I'm feeling was my father. Oh. My new friend is my father. <laughs> okay, so you are now moving into a new pad, or have you? Semi is what I keep saying. Oh, semi, okay. Semi great. moved in. It's just okay. my boxes. My uh, or my clothes are in my boxes, not all of them. I still have to sort out half of my cupboard. I've sorted out half of it. Uh, there's an outside cupboard and an inside cupboard. So the outside one is sorted, the inside one is still getting sorted. But it's it's not easy. Yeah. Everything else is in. All the material of the house that we've got from all over right. is there. It's just the stuff that is in my room right now that has to go. And that's actually the hardest part, I believe. Oh, wow. You know... I know how to pep up Balia Bhatt's mood, like clearly. I've got the macaroons for her, she likes them. But I've got something else as well. She might be just wondering why isn't Devansh Patel, like, why is this table empty? So let me just uh, get something for you, Alia. Oh, you know, you always get me something and I still have the terrian that you've given me. Oh, you me. have, right? Yes. Okay, so I have a goodie bag for you, right? It's called Son of a Beach. Yeah, that's her mood in the film though. <laughs> uh, but that's your goodie bag, so you're going to take it out how one sweet. by one. It's okay. very heavy. May, one by one, I have to take oh, it out. You can. <gasps> oh my god. That's adorable. Mm. That's so cute. Thank you. My sister is going to be very happy about this. This is going in my hall. Okay. Just letting you know. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Relationship <laughs> ki maki box. I really want to know what's inside the relationship ki magi box. What do you do, yeah? Pasta la vista, baby. It's a fridge magnet. Thank you for that. I am first class. Aren't you? I am first class. I also travel first class. 
Uh, oh, lots of fridge magnets. Are these fridge magnets? No, these no. are like. Taj Patte. Yes. And this is Shady Lady. ये क्या है? Passport holder. नहीं. Uh, I think sunglasses. Oh, how uh, sweet, yeah. yeah. This is lovely. So that's the relationship ki maaki box. The relationship ki maaki box because everything that you need for yourself. Yeah. Is yeah. it? That's yeah. what. Just escape from that relationship. Just go out. Be a free bird. You like read my you mind. Okay, now next is. Scream, scream, go on, scream. Curl play, yellow, the scientist, fix you. Amsterdam, strawberry swing, dreams of paradise, green eyes, hearts like heaven, Charlie Brown, life in technicolor, sky full of stars. Are you going to the concert today? Of course, today? I'm going. So I have to tell you guys something that I got a email from Chris Martin. Wow! Uh, because he's here and he sent everybody an email. Whoever's a part of the Global Citizen Festival, and I started crying. Well, you can get him signs. You know. I'm going to sign this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's something else as well. Wait, it's not over, guys. And there is a book. Okay, and this is the last and final. Shall I open it? Yes, the revelation. Uh, I'm hoping for an explanation. <laughs> the greatest show on earth. Yeah. Are you trumped? I'm trumped. No. You've used your trump card on me. I have. I'm trumped and stumped. Look at Alia Bhatt's face looking at Donald Trump. Uh, what? No, nothing. I mean, no, I don't. I don't know. Have any other reaction to give? But I will read it. I will. You I, I, I would like to uh, uh, fill up on. But thank you, yeah. You're this welcome. This is so sweet. Okay, so now tell me something. A movie, Alia. Okay, that you went wow. You know, after watching that Shahrukh Khan movie. कुछ कुछ होता है. Honestly, also Chuck De. I really went wow mm -hmm. because it was so different. I mean, D D L J and all those things. But कुछ कुछ होता है very very close to my heart. I really love that film. You know, every time I see this, Dear Zindagi, I feel. It's, it's, it's a very Woody Allen feel to that film, you know, that Gauri Shinde has done, and, uh, and so ca it's, it's, I think it's taken slice of life to the next level. I, I've come up with a new term for that, by what the way. What is it? Because it's like I don't, I mean, it's not like I don't like the word slice of life, but I feel like we've overused it. Uh, and for this film, I don't really feel particularly it's just slice of life. Mm -hmm. So you know, Shah Rukh's uh, character's name is Jahangir Khan, uh, and I fondly call him Jug. So. It's a jug of life. Jug of life. So here's a jug of life. Yeah. That's a nice one. Jug of life. So she used the jug of life so well, <laughs> and she's juggled it well. If that's the way you put it. Juggled it. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about your boyfriend, your first boyfriend. Okay. Okay. Uh, must have been in school, I'm sure. Yeah, when I was like 16 or something. There you go. So, was it difficult to explain? A family that you know what I have a guy in my life and we are dating and you know no, no permissions allowed right just start dating no no is no, it no, normal no the thing is my mom see my mom was very very clear um, boys coming over uh, uh, till the age of 18 you can't sit in the room you have to sit in a uh, hall in the hall or the drawing room mm -hmm. and if you're sitting in the drawing room the door has to be open and these are not because we it's because of you know there's hanky panky and all but just because it's the right right way to behave so mm -hmm. I always knew that she's cool. It's all in front of her, and it's all like proper. Then it's fine. Um, but um, they were always really liberal about it. But it's not like when you're 16, 17, you don't want to own up to the fact that you have a boyfriend, right? Right? Because you're shy. Uh, so only after the age of 18 can you really tell your parents that listen, this is my boyfriend. And then you don't really have to say that my boyfriend. You just say it when you when you see one boy coming home again and again and again, or you're constantly going out with one person, it's kind of understood. You know when Gauri Shinde directs. Uh and writes and you know is too much into the creative discussions. Did you guys interact with R. Balki? Balki has uh, been uh, like a silent supporter, I would say. Like he will come, he would come on set a couple of times, but I think it's like he would just give his uh, uh, suggestions and um, like uh, this thing as a friend and mm -hmm. as like you know somebody who's like oh yeah on the same team. Right. He didn't really impose himself, and I think that's nice because also. She she has her own journey. He has right. his own journey. And then in the marketing aspect, Balki's <clears throat> hands on. Yeah. Post production and marketing, Balki's there. He's suggesting things. He'll say we'll do this, we'll do that. You know, he shot a music video. He'll do everything. Um, and I think that's that's really nice. Their combination of like strength to strength is mm -hmm. is really really inspiring. You know, a f few films in your life, <clears throat> in, uh, in in your career, would give an opportunity to kind of just be yourself. 
right? It's not too made up and, you know, oh, I'm playing a character which is who's... I mean, a film like Highway, you know, you have to s- sing into it. A film like Dear Zindagi wasn't like you, okay, yeah, change my name to a character name, but I'm Alia Bhatt in the film. No, not really. No? See, there are traits. Okay. There are traits and maybe like, um, that's the way I would probably scream. But eventually, it's her story. She's getting upset about X, Y, Z. Um, I don't have that in my life, so why would I be upset by that? So I'm actually her. But there are traits that are like mine because I'm that person and there are things I relate to. But actually, I always believe that you shouldn't bring any of yourself into characters because it's a character that you're playing. You have to create. In fact, I feel I'm more inspired by my sister in this film than myself. There are things I can relate to, but actually there are many traits, especially if you've seen teaser number two, uh, when yeah. I did the egg glass jug milega and I'm wearing this chashma, the way I've delivered the line is actually like my sister. I mean, not like I did it consciously, but I picked up traits and that's what I like doing. Like I'll pick up a trait from you, like the way you're sitting right now. I may pick it up tomorrow and I'll use it in a scene. <laughs> I'll pick up a trait from, you know, whoever I meet. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't think there's, it's me essentially. There are things that I can relate to, but it's full geek either otherwise. I can't believe Alia Bhatt's answering like, rapid firely, you know, like, it's amazing. The first time I met you in a small cabaret in Dharma Productions mm-hmm. for your first film, before the release of Student of the Year. And look I how, that. I mean, it's, it's the grown is the wrong word and even mature is the wrong word. I think you've just gone beyond that. You've like skyrocketed. Yeah. Next level, Alia, <laughs> next level. One song that rejuvenates you or something when you're down and you have to listen to that. Like really makes me happy. Yeah. I think it changes, yeah, from time to time. So it's strangely, sometimes even sad songs make me happy. Like, Lag Jagale is one of my favorite songs. It just calms me down. I just play it and I'm like... Like that. Okay. <laughs> right now, it's uh, Love You, Zimpiki. And I'm not just saying it because it's my film, but it genuinely has that happy, 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 joy, joy vibe. So I play it and I just dance. You, you guys shot for another song as well, right? A music video, A yeah. music video. Yeah, that'll, that'll come out. Have you lend your voice? Yes, I have. <laughs> and what was that song? Um... Um, and also for the club mix for Love You Zindagi. So now that you're a playback singer and officially... I'm not a playback No, singer. of course you have to, come on, let, please. Okay, so you're an actor who sings. Yes. Not a singer who acts. No. That's the right way to put <laughs> yeah. it, right? An actor so, who sings. So an actor who sings, will it be a deliberate move from your part or do you sometimes go, you know what, I really feel that I can, I can sing an unplugged version or a reprised version of this song? I will not ever suggest it myself. I should never say never, but I don't, I have never suggested it myself. It's always come from the other end mm-hmm. and I've just followed. Oh, okay. Who's your go-to person now? Mahesh Bhatt, Sony or Shaheen? As in for what? I am I go-to people for different things. Okay, so which are the different things you would go to these Like three? I have uh, Abhishek, um, Barman. And Ayan, Barman, Abhishek and Ayan. Ayan who I go to for my relationships and my work. Stresses. Karan also for work. Okay. And um, my sister for more relationships. My mom for food. <laughs> mm. And my father for work. Oh, okay. Tell me a real life lesson, Alia. A real life lesson that while filming Dear Zindagi, you actually learned from Shah Rukh Khan. Something that you would take back with you always. Warmth and goodness towards people, the way he is with people, the way he'll interact. He'll go out of his way to make you feel comfortable. Now, also the thing is, the reason he does that because he's Shah Rukh Khan. So he can sense that people are nervous around him. People don't get nervous around me. But if if um, I can always go out of my way to make people feel comfortable, even if it's a tense atmosphere or stressed out atmosphere, I should be able to do that. I should be able to add to the calmness into the room as opposed to take away from it. Very profound speaking. Very profoundly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, are you sure you're having something? <laughs> it's tea. It's tea only, no? Yes. Okay, because you know, we've been to the moon and back. We've known Mars inside out, you know. We haven't known much about Alia Bhatt. I mean, it's, that's going to be a mystery. But let time go by, then you'll be the Alia Bhatt as I'll well. I'll always be mysterious. Isn't it? Women directors, Alia. I really, really adore them, you know. We have Zoya Akhtar, we have Gauri Shinde, we have few and far between. And when you see in the West a Woody Allen making so many films with women as a protagonist and, you know, very substantially women-centric, you think a male director could have really approached a Dear Zindagi in a very different way? See, uh, I really strongly believe that and because um, I've already been asked this question so many times, I'm, um, I feel like there's a female actor and a male actor. There's only one director. 
Okay. Male or female, it does not matter. A director is a director. Yes, we have fewer women directors, but um, they're also unique voices. And yeah, maybe a male's perspective would have been different, but that's not because he's a man. It's because he's a different person with a different perspective. Mm. Women director on Gauri Shinde especially is, uh, is as strong, as clear, as focused, as hands-on and as um, tagda about filmmaking and being a director as any of the other male directors that I've worked with. Maybe even more. Okay. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a woman and she's a woman. I yeah. genuinely feel that, that there's no male, female, there's just director. Okay. Tell me a period in your life, Alia, that you were the happiest and a period in your life that you were the lowest? A period in my life that I was the happiest, I think right now, maybe. It's, um... At she, this. Sorry, she means before I gave her the, <laughs> the, you know, what do you call this? Son of a beach bag. After, after, yeah. After you gave me the son of a beach bag, it's You're become happy. a very happy okay. moment. I'm so grateful to life. No, I'm genuinely, really, really, I swear, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mocking. I'm really happy. It's so sweet of you to do this. Um... Maybe right now, and I'm not saying it because it's um, I'm not. I would not say happiest. I would say I'm very content. Content. I'm very comfortable with movement and you know things. <laughs> uh, time when I was not very good, I think was uh, maybe about two two years ago. I was in a very weird place, confused. Uh, two and a half years ago, actually, I would say I was confused. I was not really sure. I was very insecure. All those things. Nice. Shall we play a game now? Yeah, always. Never. Never. Have I? Ever. Never have I ever. Yeah. Okay. Let's have some fun. Not that we aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I always have a good time with Alia, but she is adorable. Okay. Never have I ever told my ex we should go out on a date again. Oh, you have. Kind of rekindling it again? Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Never have I ever looked at my significant other's text. Never have I ever lied to Devansh Patel about who I'm dating. Oh, she has. There you go. There's another side to it as well. Never have I ever snuck a man into the house while my parents were asleep. You have. Not man, boy. A boy, yeah. Boys, as in Boys. friends. Okay. Never have I ever lied on an online dating profile. I've never been on an online dating profile. Okay, I expected that. Yeah. Never have I ever got confused while swiping on Tinder. Not been on Tinder. Tinder. Oh, Tinder. Tinder. No. <laughs> Never have I ever told Mahesh Bhatt that that's enough gyan for the day. You have. <laughs> Why? Just because he kind of. Just... He overdoes it, yeah, sometimes. He's very sweet. I love him, but sometimes he overdoes it and even he agrees. Achha. Never have I ever sat next to my cute cats and chatted with them for hours. What do you chat with them? Everything. My cat somehow always knows when I'm crying. What are their names? Pika and Shiba. Pika and Shiba. So Shiba and Pika actually. Always somehow when I'm, if I'm crying in my room, he'll know and he'll come and he'll find me and he'll come and he'll give me so much love and then I cry more the thought of the fact that my cats are so adorable. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever tried something I learned from Fifty Shades of Grey? No, I'm not that kind. <laughs> Who's the go-to person? Shah Rukh is not here, so I have to ask this question to you. Is who's the go-to person for Shah Rukh? I mean, does he talk to his uh, wife or you, you? I mean, Karan is a good friend of his as well. I'm I'm guessing. I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess. Abraham. <laughs> Such a sweetheart, no? Yeah. Because I know he really talks to Abraham. He does. He told me once, like Abraham's my best friend. I love him. He just I can talk about everything. <laughs> You've met Abraham, of course. Yeah, he's adorable. He was there through the shoot. Okay. And when I was, so basically we used to, me and uh, Gauri used to go to Shah Rukh's room. Gauri and I used to go to Shah Rukh's room to rehearse. And every night we used to go. And that used to be his downtime with Abram. So he used to tell uh, Shah Rukh, uh, Papa, girls have come. <laughs> <laughs> girls have come. Girls are coming. So he used to be very upset because we used to, but then we, we became friends eventually. We played some game and all. It was adorable. You know, um, you've gone through this phase where you were in your, you know, between 15 and 16, or probably actually even b between 12 and 15, where you thought, okay, this is my career, this is where I want to go, this is where I'm going to be the number one actress. Now that you are, darling. Uh, you, you've seen, you know, Aryan grow, Shah Rukh's son. 
and now that he's going to you know follow his father's footsteps how much of confidence level do you see in youngsters who are just prepping up for this big oh immense confidence uh, immense and, and and i mean aryan is already a star i would say he's, okay the world is already crazy about his looks and his instagram pictures uh, and he's very sweet i've met him and he's like a really really good guy like he's a good boy and he's like sorted and he likes like you know he's gotten to a really good university he knows what he wants and he's really really good very like i think comes from that um sharukh's kind of you know style of yeah. just very charmingly speaking with everyone and uh, for example i'm also i interacted with janvi a lot um shri devi's daughter yes. she is also i uh, really lovely yeah so focused so beautiful so pretty and again gives that kind of confidence they already stars and yeah I, i'm really excited for the next lot to come isn't it the students of the years no to come. they they'll all carve their own path of course they sure. will they will and uh, before we go on a parting note on a parting note on a party party note, note. <laughs> well are you going to party in the yeah. evening with chris martin <laughs> that's for sure uh-huh. but uh, we want alia want to sing a song from dear zindagi come on or or one line of it your mm-hmm. favorite your favorite mm, i'll sing the title track but yeah. my voice is a little better hua that's fine <clears throat> jo dil se lage usse keh do hi 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 जो दिल ना लगे उसे कह दो बाय 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 आने दो आने दो दिल में आ जाने दो कह दो मुस्कुराहट को हाय 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 जाने दो जाने दो दिल से चले जाने दो कह दो घबराहट को बाय 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 I'm Alia Bhatt and you're watching me on Bollywood Times with the very very lovely Devansh Patel on MTV.